Hey there, team. Geology Professor Sean Wilsey here. Uh, thought we'd try something a little bit different today. I teach here at the college a course called Natural Disasters, and one of the things we look at, in fact, we're studying it this week, is tropical storms and hurricanes. And this week, in fact, happening today on October 27th, we have this massive historic uh, hurricane, Hurricane Melissa, that's in the news now. It's going to be in the news for the next several several days as it causes severe impacts in the Caribbean region. So I thought we'd look at this a little bit. Again, full disclosure, I am not a, um, a professional me meteorologist. I know a few things, it's sort of a, a hobby of mine, I suppose, and related to some of the classes I teach. But I thought I'd share a few little bits of information with you about this hurricane and maybe teach a few things, learn some stuff together. And so let's just look right to it. So here we can see satellite image of Hurricane Melissa just to the south of the island of Jamaica. And it's been traveling through the Caribbean in a sort of a west-northwest trajectory. Today it started turning a little bit north. And through the next few hours, it's going to continue north and then turn northeast. That'll take it over uh, Jamaica tonight and early Tuesday. It'll move over eastern Cuba. Then it'll head up into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos on Wednesday, and then finally up into Bermuda on Thursday night. And then eventually it'll move out into the North Atlantic. So hurricanes are fueled by warm water, basically warm ocean water that's above about 78 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. They're large convective uh, systems, so they have a high uh, vertical profile to them. Things that tend to kill hurricanes, or at least weaken them, is if they have any wind shear. So if you have winds moving in different directions or at different speeds, at different levels of the atmosphere, that tends to kind of cut them off a little bit and weaken them considerably. So they're much more strong and potent in a fairly stable, uh, homogeneous atmosphere without any wind shear. The other thing that can cause these to weaken is when they move over land. And that's what we're going to see as this moves over Jamaica over the next uh, few hours, I suppose, but um, it's going to emerge on the other side of Jamaica. It's still a very strong hurricane, probably category three hurricane, a, a major hurricane. Um, so it's going to weaken somewhat, but not uh, completely. And then the other thing that'll diminish hurricanes uh, strength will tend to be if they move over colder water. And that will happen to Hurricane Melissa in the next few days once it moves out into the North Atlantic. But for now, this is a very strong storm. It's going to wreak havoc and cause all sorts of problems here on the island of Jamaica. Here's a satellite loop kind of showing a little bit bigger view of what's been going on here. You can see the well-defined eye there, that little kind of pinhole at the center of the storm. Uh, that's an area of fairly calm weather. It's actually an area, area where the wind is descending rather than ascending. Um, so there's a little bit of air circulating back down. That's why it's clear. Uh, but the rest of this has really strong winds over 160 miles an hour as a category five. That's about 72 meters per second, uh, substantial amounts of moisture and rainfall. And again, the big hazard we're looking at here is this moves over Jamaica. Jamaica is actually a really mountainous island. I think there's some uh, topography that goes over five, six, maybe 7,000 feet. So over 2,000 meters, especially on the eastern side of the island. So when we get all the rainfall occurring there, let's see if we can find a uh, forecast for, yeah, all this rainfall that's going to happen in the next three days. You can see Jamaica there looking anywhere upwards of maybe 30 inches or about uh, 750 millimeters, seven, uh, 750 millimeters of rain in Jamaica. Just a tremendous amount of rain on that very mountainous landscape with steep topography. So that water is going to funnel down into the canyons. Uh, we're going to probably see large-scale flash flooding, maybe debris flows, and even likely landslides and other mass wasting uh, processes and events happening there. So a real, a real hazard there, not just the winds. The high winds are one hazard. The storm surge is a hazard on, on the coast. But even in those mountainous areas, we're looking at all that rain impacting that steep topography and creating quite a bit of problems. And you can see moving over Cuba, similar amounts of rain. Um, and you can see the, the sort of the, the swath in which we're expecting high rainfall amounts, even extending over into uh, Haiti and Dominican Republic over here. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. You can see another view right here, satellite view showing just that well-defined eye. Of course, this thing is circulating counterclockwise as they all do in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, they circulate the opposite direction. Um, 
So they tend to uh, circulate based on the Coriolis effect. That's what steers uh, the winds a little bit around these things. Um, you can see that the wind speed, the winds just kind of circulating around this thing. And usually as these things make landfall, if you're in sort of this right, if you think of the, the eye of the hurricane just maybe coming in and hitting the south coast of Jamaica, it's this right quadrant, this right front quadrant is where sometimes the, the worst damage is because you have the combined circulating wind speeds around the hurricane plus the whole storm's advancing um, velocity. And so it compounds the wind speeds just a little bit. Now, you know, at this point though, 160 mile an hour winds versus maybe 150, 140, it's all very, very strong winds. And so it's likely to be damaging on either side. Um, another satellite view here with a little loop there showing just how this thing's been uh, intensifying. In the last few days, it's really intensified on, on a big scale, kind of backing up the models that were, that were showing that. Uh, here we can see if we zoom in a little bit here, here's the, the track of the hurricane uh, across the Caribbean. So it's been a category four yesterday. Um, wobbled a little bit, but mainly just moving to the west. Here it is currently as a category five with 160 mile an hour winds. And then that forecast track kind of swinging it around to the north, then to the northeast, uh, and then hitting Jamaica. It will weaken again the hurricane a little bit as it moves over land. Uh, still expected to be a category three as it hits Cuba here. Uh, as it moves over some of the other islands, Turk and Caicos, Bahama area here, category two still, so very strong hurricane as it moves over that region. And then as it moves out into the more northerly parts of the Pacific here, just north of Bermuda, so category one probably here as it passes over Bermuda. Uh, and then beyond that, we're looking into next weekend, essentially, yes, Saturday at noon. Uh, it'll still no, no longer be what we call a tropical cyclone, but it'll still have strong winds. It'll still have the moisture, what we call an extra tropical cyclone at that point. Uh, may impact parts of northeastern Canada, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia area. Uh, and then going into the next week, uh, there could be some impact on uh, you know, Scotland, the UK, maybe parts of Iceland as that moisture and that storm system, you know, still dissipated quite a bit from its hurricane strength, but still a fairly strong. Uh, extra tropical storm as it moves into the North Atlantic. So that's uh, what we're looking at in terms of just the forecast. Um, we talked a little bit about the, the three-day forecast here. Um, and again, looking at those high wind speeds here, um, this is probability of at least tropical force winds, tropical storm force winds about 40 miles an hour or greater. So you can see how wide spread those strong winds are gonna be along with the rainfall. So a big um, event about to take place or already starting to take place there in the Caribbean. So we'll hope for the best. We'll hope people uh, can hunker down and shelter and uh, hope that the damage isn't too great. But this could be a very historic hurricane, especially for this part of the Caribbean. So just wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Thanks for tuning into the channel and for your support. And we'll see you next time. Take care.